guys! Uh, welcome to my very first ever Battle of the Boxes. I have two boxes here, both $10 each, that actually, no, I think Birch Boxes charge me like $10.95. Hmm. But I have two never opened bags and boxes that I'm going to go ahead and do this. I think I'm going to do this as a series. I don't know. Do you guys want to continue to see these? I'm going to shut up so you guys can see. So I've not opened any of these. Uh, this one came first. This one came today. And so now I'm just going to go with the box. This one. Because I have some nifty tweezers I will open this with. Um, 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 um. Ow! Jesus Christ. That hurt. Okay. So I subscribed to Birchbox. Mm, a few months ago, resubscribed. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Um, anyways, I subscribed to them not too long ago. Fancy. Remember this used to be like brown or pink. I think it was pink before. Boxes used to be bleh. Oh, I cut the box. Uh, can you see that? Oh, here we go. Ooh, yay. Um, anyways, um... I subscribed them a long time ago and resubscribed again because they got better. Like it, it got better, but I had like an oil spill issue and they had a really shitty customer service. So I canceled and then on my first box I got back from them, I had another oil leak issue and I said, Ugh, whatever. So okay, here's what the box looks like. Um, it's got... Um, one, two, three, five things. I'm not going to read it because nobody does. Um, oh, hey, $10. Ooh, and there's a code. <laughs> this looks like it's special. So, let's see. $35 or more. Worth $10, so the box is, like, basically free. So, that's super nice. Um, here's what the box looks like. Very pretty. Ooh, ah. Okay. So, let's go with the first thing that's in here. This is a empty container. Harvey Prince. Sincerely, um, I don't know. It's an empty, looks like perfume holder. So let's look in here and see if it's in here. And it is. So here is the perfume. Let's smell this. What are we sprayed at? I do appreciate. Mmm. Mm. Okay, well I have to really smell it. it. Smells really good. I don't know how much the full size is. Let's take a look at the cards I say I never read. Then someone fell off my lap. Oh, hey, Harvey Prince full size is $28 to $57. Sweet, spicy. So the $28 is probably like a roll of all. Uh, sweetly spicy scent with Indonesian clove bud, Indian turbo rose, and Japanese orange flower. So, I think that actually smells pretty good, but I don't know if I would spend $57 on that. And there goes the card. This is the Namika Nourish and Mask. Very, very small. Very cute. Um, it's sea buckthorn. Berry. This is a 0 0.7 fluid ounce. It is sealed, so I'm not going to open it because I have so many masks. Um, this is a $28 value, full size, which would be... It doesn't say what the full size is. So, a full size is $28. This is green tea hand cream. The Vert by... Shay, what is this? Who makes this? Soap and Paper Factory. Full size would be $18, which they don't say how many ounces is. It's sealed too, but you know this is lotion, and I'll throw this in my purse. Okay. So, let's test it out. Shall we? It was thick. It kind of reminds me of the Noxzema Cream. Ooh. It does smell good. It smells uh 
very fresh and it almost reminds me of like the um, figs and rouge it smells good um I don't know if I would spend $18 on a full size but we'll go with the flow uh, the next thing is an Ico fat liquid liner so this might be full size I don't necessarily like fat eyeliners yeah that tip is really huge um this full size is $16 I don't know if this is full size but it looks like it might be the reason why I don't like full size like big fat eyeliners is because I've hooded semi hooded eyes and there goes the bird semi hooded eyes and I don't really think that this works well for me, but it's a nice gesture and I can use that on people. And then the last thing is by Coastal Sense. This is the Style Eyes Eyeshadow Sampler. Two colors from the Social Eyes palette. And a full size, which I don't know how many in a full size, would be $12. And it's just like in a little cardboard thing here. Okay, so this is like a gray and a black. I probably have like tons and tons of these. Closer Sense is really nice, so I'll, I will probably pass this on. Social eyes. I'll probably just pass this on to somebody else. But this was good. Um, I can't like say it was bad, but so we have a ten dollar coupon, an eyeliner, a lotion, a face mask, eyeshadow. In a perfume so let's move on to the next and see if I like that one. Moving on to the next one here it's kind of bulky okay is a Ricky Care, I've never heard of this brand, Ricky Care 3D Blender. The Ricky Care 3D Blender is specifically designated to fit the contours of the face, ergonomically shaped. So it's like a blue blender by Ricky's NYC. Here's the bag. It's like a faux-ish shiny red, almost matched my lipstick. It says Ipsy on the side, and it's like a little lipstick, I guess you could say. I don't know. Okay, inside we have a pocket full of stuff here. Um, okay, so we have the Mark Anthony Hydrated in Coconut Oil Shea Butter Weekly Deep Treatment. Um, so this is a mask, and um, let's see if it's sealed. And it is not sealed, so let's go ahead and... Ooh, it smells like coconuts. Oh, it smells good. Um, I will definitely be using this... Oh, hey, it says on the back. Look for hydrating coconut oil and shea butter products at Walgreens and Ulta. What is in the... I really need to... Um, I need to look at the ingredients on this because um, I put a new product in my hair that I'm supposed to do a review on for this company. And you'll see that video eventually, but um, it was really bad for my hair. So, Bottle Co. Lip Liner. And this is, I don't know, it's not really a size, so, I mean a color. So, here's what that looks like. It has a pink tip, so it might be pink, but I don't know. Little Formula X nail polish? Is that nail polish? Let's take a look at this. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's pretty. This is revved up, revved up. Um, that's super pretty, and I will definitely, definitely use that. I'm happy with that one. I will give you guys a close up. That's what that looks like. Yay, and it's full too. This is the Power of Love Pacifica Natural Minerals Vegan Lipstick. So it's in the color of nude red. Um, good choice, beautiful. 
good choice, beautiful. Why, thank you. Might I really say? So, Pacifica, I had some brand, some stuff from them not too long ago, and it was mascara, and I didn't really like the mascara, but it would be nice to see if this is going to work. This would be pretty for, like, even Valentine's Day. Ooh, and you get quite a bit of product in it, so this is pretty much, it looks like it's a full size. It does have a weird smell to it, so I don't know. I think it's just a regular smell that comes with these, but I don't know. I may use this, I may not. We will find out. So, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this right here is full size. So we have that. We have a hair mask. <laughs> Let me get this beauty blender that fell on the floor. Okay, we have a beauty blender. We have a pencil liner. And we have a nail polish. So I have to say Ipsy won this time um, only because I see a value in front of me. I mean it's great that Birchbox gave $10 but you still have to spend $35 to use it and I feel like these products are more for your value than um, Birchbox so you get like more product and um, I don't know how much these are worth but we will find out, but um, yeah, I would have to say that Ipsy this month won. I've had some really good birch boxes, don't get me wrong, but this time, this this month was just not not it. But this bag's kind of kind of gaudy in my opinion. But it's not all about the bag. I usually get rid of them. Um, birch boxes box pretty, er. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me opening up these boxes and bags. If you guys enjoy these um, Birch Box and Ipsy Battle the Boxes, then let me know. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.